Hello world and welcome, I'm Don. In this video, I'm going to share with you a little technique that I'm kind of adapting from something that I saw recently. I just wanted to do a quick intro to say, if you're new here, welcome. If you're wondering where the heck I've been because I haven't posted a video for a couple of months, I've just been absolutely flattened with, with some different projects, doing working uh, on a play, doing quite a few different photo shoots, also my day job, and uh, yeah, things just got a bit hectic. But I am here, I am still going, and I am going to start kicking into some more videos. So this one, like I say, is a little tip that uh, I'm adapting. I saw it applied in, in Photoshop, and I thought, hmm, just as easy to do that in Photolab. Uh, so a little technique to show you. And today's video is just a super quick tip about dealing with gray skies like this. This was not a gray sky because it was cloudy. This was just late in the day. It was actually a blue sky. But you know, I, I don't know if you've come across this, but by the time you kind of tweak your white balance to a place where you like how the land is looking, then the sky is not looking quite right. And I'm sure to my eye, it wasn't this kind of dull color. So how can you fix that? Well, this fix, I'd like to say, comes from a video I was watching from Blake Rudis. He has a course out on color theory. I was watching that, and one of the images he was working on, he set a separate white balance for the foreground and for the sky. And I thought, aha, uh -huh, that might well be the thing to do. And of course, that's pretty easy to do in Photolab. So let me just quickly show you how you might go about that. So this image has a little bit done to it. It's kind of gone from there to there. The base image, you know, it's, it was a bit of haze because it was going through some distance, a little bit darker, so it's just brightened up a bit, haze, done. Um, and I've already got a local adjustment on here, which is just a bit of um, clear view on the bottom, tidying things up. Don't like to put clear view on the skies a lot of times if I can help it, just because it does get even skies a bit chunky. So I know it's nice if you've got clouds, it can add a bit of depth and definition, but it's it's it's... It's aggressive. It can be a bit chunky. So if you can keep it off your plain skies, it'll probably be tidier. If you do need to put it on a plain sky, a bit of noise reduction will generally kind of balance the balance the scales on that. Anyway, I digress. Fixing this goes a bit like this. So I'll just come down and grab my control line. I don't have anything selected, so it should be fine to do a control line. If I did have something selected like this, then I'd want to make sure that I did the plus, if you get my drift. But I'll just drop this on here. It's all good. Bring this up a bit. Bring this up a bit. Like that. Like that. And I'll just grab this eyedropper, pop it here. Nice. So we're getting pretty good selection there. And I'm just going to... Maybe increase my chroma a little bit, just to try to get a sense that that's selecting pretty well there. Maybe drop that one. Going to bring this down. I noticed there's a little bit of a lift there, although it doesn't matter if there's a touch of variation, does it? I'm actually not too worried. There we go. But anyway, that that's colored that in. So let's just see how we go. I'll tweak it some more if I need to. So with that done, I will just scroll down here to my white balance and I'll drop it to something that looks nice. I don't maybe want to go super far because the skies do tend to be a pale blue at that time of day. Uh, so if I come to maybe about, well, I mean, you, you can see that you can, you can take it wherever you like, actually, like if you keep going, it will keep going. Um, but just thinking about keeping it subtle. I just don't want it to be gray. I want it to have a little bit of little bit of nice powdery blue to it so we maybe go to about there and that is it I press escape to make my local adjustment go away and do a quick before and after and there you have it correcting gray dull skies hope that's been helpful thanks for watching and I'll keep this one super short and say bye for now and talk again soon